Continuing with our media availability this afternoon, we've now been joined by Eric Jones, driver of the number 20 Great Clips Toyota in the NASCAR Xfinity Series this weekend at Talladega. Um, Eric, talk a little bit about coming to Dal- Talladega this weekend and um, your expectations for, for your team. Yeah, it's uh, it's always pretty fun to come here. We uh, we ran one race last year here in the Truck Series, and and to be back now in the Xfinity Series uh, is is pretty cool. So uh, we had a fast car and and uh, our first and only practice, but uh, you know I feel pretty good about it. It's it's always interesting to come around these super speedway races, and uh, I'm really looking forward just to getting a race going tomorrow. All right. We'll continue to take questions for Eric. If you have one, please state your name and affiliation, and we'll start with Jeff. Jeff Clark from USA Today. Um, with your Cup official debut um, coming up, what, what are your expectations going to be for that car? I mean, is it just about getting seat time and experience, or how are you looking at it? Yeah, you know, for me, it's um, it's really all seat time and experience. I, I think um, keeping our expectations realistic is a pretty big thing for us. Um, you know, if we can go run top 15, uh, I'd feel like that'd be a pretty big uh, win for us. Um, you know, it's it's a big step. Um, we've talked a lot about it. I've talked with Adam Stevens a lot about it and kind of what the jump is. I've talked to Kyle about it. Um, you know, it's not going to be an easy step for anybody, but uh, I really believe we can go run top 15. And if we could do that, um, I think that'd be a good day. All right. Go ahead. Matt Weaver, Popular Speed. You know, we've kind of beat the, the Joey Logano comparisons to death, but kind of on a similar note to what Jeff asked you, how do you not hear those questions and hear those comparisons and not let it get inside your head before you even make one official start? Yeah, you know, they're there, and and I guess I've heard them along the way, but, you know, I try to just kind of separate the situations, and, you know, it's just a lot different situation altogether. I'm stepping in in a filling role. Uh, you know, I'm running one race right now at Kansas, which is entirely different from Joey's role of stepping in and trying to fill a, a full season. So, um, you know, I feel pretty comfortable with that. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, there's a point where you have to make the jump at some time in your career. And whether it's now or, or a year down the road or two years down the road, you know, I'd have to do it. So um, I feel like this is probably the best situation I could have been, be in to make that jump um, in a part-time situation like it is. Um, it's a great opportunity. Um, it's a great car. It's a top flight car. So obviously there's, you know, there's expectations to run well, but, um, you know, as long as I can keep my mentality that I'm just here to learn and make laps and I feel like it's not going to hurt, you know, my development in any sort of way. All right, Jordan, go ahead. Jordan Bianchi, SBNation.com. Eric, looking ahead a little bit, and we don't know Kyle's return yet, but looking at the month of June, you've got two conflicts, I think, at Pocono and Michigan with the Truck Series. Have you had any discussions about what you're going to do those weekends? No, um, I haven't. Uh, You know, for right now, Kansas is the only race I've got um, in the 18. So, you know, beyond that, uh, I honestly don't know. Um, Sure, I'd love to run it again. I think it'd be fun, but uh, we'll just have to really see how things go. just going to run Kansas and do my deal there and do the best we can and see what happens. All right, if we can get a microphone to Holly and Nate and then Stan. Holly Kane, NASCAR.com. Eric, certainly as you're thinking about, uh, you know, when I'm going to make my cup debut, perhaps these weren't exactly the circumstances that you were. Could you just kind of talk about how this happened and sometimes right place, right time, and having shown all the promise that you have all the way is, is the big reason probably why you're getting this opportunity. Yeah, it's, um, it seems like the last uh, three years of my life have been a lot of right place opportunities, starting with you know Kyle and the snowball and from there on. And, you know, it was really shame uh, to see Kyle get hurt at Daytona. Um, I consider Kyle to be a, a friend of mine, and it's it's never fun to see something like that. And um, definitely not the the circumstances I wish I could have done it in. But um, you know, I'm I'm excited for the opportunity. Um, you know, no matter what else happens, um, it's a it's a cool thing for me to be able to make a cup start um, this early in my career. And you know, it's. Uh, if you would ask me two years ago if I'd be making a cup start uh, when I was 18, no, I, I really don't think I would have. Um, but it's an awesome opportunity. It's something I never would have uh, would have dreamed of. I get to do it at such a young age, and definitely going to take it in stride and, uh, and and see what we can do. All right, Nate, go ahead. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. I actually have two. two. Uh, just real quick, Eric, just to clarify, are, are you saying that they Joe Gibbs Racing is telling you this? 
Kansas and nothing beyond at this point? Are they giving you any indication there could be more races, or are they just telling you that that's the only race at this point? Honestly, just Kansas at this point. That's all I've heard. I've seen the. I've seen it too. It's, I saw it on TV 20 minutes ago where it says until he returns, but honestly, Kansas is the only one I know of right now. But you're not. Ex they haven't told you if they're expecting him to be back by Charlotte. They haven't given you any indication. No. Like that. How much was? Uh, do you think Bristol helpful in 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 I guess assuaging any like concerns they had about you being in the car? Did did you did you feel all along that this was going to be your ride, like people were saying, or did you feel like that went a long way to doing it? Um, that's you know. I don't know if all along I would say that I saw it. Um, I hoped that I'd have a shot in it at some point. I don't know that um, Bristol had anything to do with it, honestly. Um, it it helps, actually, that I was able to make laps in a cup car somewhere um, without being able to test anywhere anymore. It makes it tough for uh, a young guy to get in a, a new ride and really figure out you know, how much different the cup cars are. So um, I don't think Bristol was a... A deciding factor by any means um you know it was an interesting situation all around but uh i think you know i don't know if it was a plan all along but i'm pretty happy that uh, i do get to have my shot in the 18 for sure all right stan go ahead and then we'll go to claire stan creekmore with competition plus i'm i'm sorry with uh rpm tonight.com my apologies you seem to be an ex extremely frank individual in, in your statements. You say you hope for a, a, a top 15 finish. In the back of your mind, though, do you think I can win if I really put forth the effort and all? I can win, or, or are you just way more balanced? You know, I've uh, honestly, I never go into a race with... Um, the mentality of I have no shot of winning a race, um, you know, yeah, sure, there's a chance there, but it's a definitely a long shot. Um, you know, I don't think that's even honestly in, in the question of what we're, we're trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, I'd love to, uh, but it's such a big jump, and it's such a higher level of competition. Um, you know, we're racing against guys that have been in the series for 10, 15 years, and it's it's hard to beat that experience no matter, you know, how good your car is or whatever else. So, um, you know, I think I think if we did go into it with a thought that we could win, that's kind of overriding our thought of managing expectations, which is, is pretty big for us in going into Kansas. So, um, you know, we want to keep the expectations where they need to be, in, which is, I believe, a top 15. Um, and if we could do that, I think that's a pretty big day for us. All right, Claire, go ahead. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, on the question of people comparing you to the Joey Logano situation, you have to go back to Joe Gibbs Racing, and they they don't want to repeat it either, so maybe they learned the lesson. Are they listening to you more? Do you feel like you know you can get what you need in the car, even as a fill-in, as a young driver? Well, <laughs> I've been begging to get in the car since Daytona, so, uh, you know, they definitely took their time with it and, and let me develop this year, and I honestly feel like I've advanced as a driver since Daytona and learned a lot. Uh, as a driver with running all these Xfinity races, um, with running the truck schedule. Um, so I think it's definitely a better time uh, for me to be able to get into the car at Kansas and, and definitely feel more comfortable as a driver with the, with the step uh, that I'd have to take. So, you know, there's been some talks of it all along of, you know, am I going to get a shot, am I going to be in it? And uh, to have it kind of all settle out and come together that, you know, I'll be in it at Kansas is pretty cool. So, you know, I feel like I've definitely got the stuff that I need um, as a driver and provided to me, uh, especially by Joe Gibbs Racing, they've done everything in their power to uh, to help me advance as a driver. They gave me great equipment. Um, they've provided me with, with whatever I've asked for along the way. So they've done everything they can. It's just up to me now to really go out and, and do my job and, and try to be uh, the best that I can. Okay, we'll go to Jay. Go ahead. Uh, Jay Pendle with Fox Sports. This, this, like you said, you, you knew this start was eventually going to be coming. Does the start at Bristol kind of take away a lot of those, you know, anxious, all those anxious feelings and butterflies and everything like that because you have run, you know, maybe not a full race, but all but 22 laps of the Spring Cup race? Yeah, um, it, it really does. Um, anytime you get into a new car uh, or in a new series, it's it's kind of nerve-wracking starting your first race. It's, it's nerve-wracking starting any race, but especially your first one. So, um, you know, that did take away some of the, you know, I guess – 
unsureness of what was, you know, what's really different about the Cup Series, and I definitely th- think that knocks some of that um, stuff out of the way, which is which is nice. So, you know, I don't know if it'll take away all the the pre race jitters by any means. It'll still be you know nerve wracking starting uh, your first official Cup race anytime. So, um, but definitely took some things away for me that you know when I get in the cart Kansas for practice, uh, I'll feel more comfortable with what. Uh, what I have and what the car is going to do and, and know a little bit better uh, some of the differences in the car and, and what I need to prepare for. Any additional questions for Eric? Eric, before we let you go, a lot of talk around your Sprint Cup Series debut, a lot of talk around your performance in the Xfinity Series, but you're still running for a championship in the NASCAR <laughs> Camp World Truck Series. So um, talk a little bit about how you've been able to balance it all, but also returning to the truck next weekend at Kansas in addition to the Cup start. Yeah, so at, at this point in the season, it's hard to remember we're, we're running for a truck championship. But um, no, I, I'm up to, I think, 46 races now uh, this year on my schedule. So um, by far the busiest year that I've ever run. Um, it's it's never easy to bounce that many races in between. But uh, with having such great race cars, it's actually worked out pretty well. And I think as a driver, um, it's helped me being in the race car every weekend. So, um, you know, it's... It's a tough situation having that many races, but I think Kansas, it's honestly going to help me uh, in the truck being in a cup car. I think once I go back to the truck, it'll feel um, honestly a lot easier to drive the truck than it would have before. So it'll be interesting to see um, how big the differences really are between the two, but I'm pretty excited for it. All right. Well, we appreciate your time today, and best of luck this weekend in your Sport Clips Toyota. Thank you.